Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and we're continuing our insane difficulty blind playthrough. I am having a better grasp on the game now after playing almost through one and a half acts. And I must say I like it. It is a great game so far. Act uh, 2, Chapter 4 is upon us and we got a uh, selection for the first time. Weapon, uh, a heavy or epic weapon mod, um, a legendary armor, or eventually another epic weapon mod. I'm not sure. Missions played. Okay, so we can choose two out of them. I see, I see. And if I'm remembering correctly, you cannot deploy the same uh, troops on multiple of those missions. So, what is our mission here? Locus has established a presence. Prevent them from wrecking the cargo and seize uh, the goods. Enemies get pl plus 50% movement range. And we need to deploy a heavy. Well, that is not going to be a problem. That is almost like as if you would be asking me... ...to deploy my favorite characters. Heavy so far have been really, uh, really nice. So, are we going to use Michaela? Yes, we wanted to use the standard characters. So let's give them a chance to level up, right? That would be it. I think we're going to take that as a standard team. I wish one of the scouts or one of the heavies would also be a standard character. That would be awesome. For now, we're just going to deal with the three that we do have, and I wanted to give them even more experience, so that's going to be the team. Uh, Jack here is going to support us, and uh, the experience is all the way over the coordinated assault. Let's see if he actually gains some experience throughout this run. Let's deploy and give them a hard time. If we want our convoy ready to fight, we need fresh supplies. Dig in near the crates and load up the cargo we need. Okay, let's start this mission. Here we go. You know the story. Dig in, load up, move out. Oh, two points again. I see. Get after those grubs. Didn't we fight on a similar map already? Oh yeah, we did. Well, this one here looks a bit more difficult. Got a rare case over here. Got some high ground up here, which isn't too bad. Unfortunately, I think this wall prevent... Well, no, it does not. This here looks good. This looks like a great position. Shots into this direction. Shots into this direction. So this might be Michaela's position. Not sure if we can get through the gate, though. Maybe we need to position ourselves here. Hmm. Damn it, I thought I had a really nice high ground. Can't really get up uh, that house either, right? No, we can't. See, that's what I like about XCOM. You can use a grappling hook and position a sniper. They should have done that here as well. There is another crate uh, back there, which we need. And another crate on the right hand side. I have no idea where the enemies are coming from. But I would say Jack is going to grab that crate and is going to come back. We can grab that crate on the way. And I will need to think about how we're dealing with that one. In terms of dealing with both of the sides. Acknowledged. I think Sid here yep, is uniquely positioned to 
dig in on the left hand side. What's next? Gate Go ahead. can eventually. Hmm. Yeah, I think Gabe could uh, could uh, help in between and kind of be a moving uh, part. Michaela, I want to try what I've um, said I would, I uh, positioning her up here and use the high ground. Look, maybe the heavy is also well positioned up here. We could rotate in between both of uh, these sides <coughs> that wouldn't be too uh, too bad of an idea i think still not 100% sure what we're uh, what we're uh, dealing with but my core idea is let's not start it yet we don't uh, the timer starts the moment that don't we're actually going in and cookies starting to collect supplies, right? Ooh, that's a grenadier. Those things were nasty. Well, that might change the, the tactic a bit, because the grenadier had sort of a medium range, and if we can really keep them far away, that would be fantastic. Is that realistically possible when standing here? So if we are standing here... Yeah, I think yes. There is a bit of cover here and a bit of cover. I'm, I'm afraid he might walk in cover and then come out and just one-shot kill us. Jake is safe over here. Okay, now. Are we putting Diaz in danger? I don't know if we really need to. I read you. That might be a much more reckless On move route. than would be necessary. What have we got here? I certainly would like to place Go a couple ahead. of mines. So, moving here, placing a mine next round and moving back is right. potentially the play. In the meantime, yeah, they are going to progress. In which case, we're Not just overwatch. going to overwatch here. On the lookout. Theoretically, they could steal from the crates, and maybe that even starts the timer. I don't know. I would guess they are rather moving towards us. Sending its way too far for him. Yeah, but that—that that is exactly what I was afraid of. Time to get cracking. Good second crate. Thank you. Just out of curiosity, could we theoretically hit the? Yeah, we could hit him. I think we should exactly do that. Go ahead. Go 
Don't need to leech yet. And that here would be a one-shot kill. I think that's not a bad idea. Wrong frag. Because it's a an efficient action. I don't I don't see any um, holes going to be going to be opened up. I this way he now watch. has two overwatch uh, two overwatch shots. Okay. And we can deal with the actual threat. Time for a sniper aura. Appreciate it, Jack. And time for some 20% damage bonus. Because yes, that's exactly how we are rolling. Gonna need some ammo. That's a critical hit. We still got plenty of. Uh, mm, Still got plenty of action points left. Gotta reload. Reloading here. Fast fingers would have not solved our case here. There's a chance to crit him. Yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. And there is a good chance to actually kill him. Down my last round. Which then again triggers fast finger reload. Alright. I Stop. must say she has done a really, really nice job. I'm so listening. it's hard to say that this character wouldn't be an absolute monster. Moving. And maybe we're just grabbing the gun. Kill zone established. But we're going to do that after we overwatch. Affirmative. In all fairness, we have set her up for that success. Check next turn will fly over, so we're going to be fine. Moving Diaz into the middle here. They're moving in. Engage it. Good. Next turn, we're going to start. This will be good. Orders. All right. What does this gun do? <laughs> okay, I know exactly what it does. That's great, but we should give it to Diaz because he has the weakest gun. I'm here. Moving up. All right, time to load up. Let's kill this guy. There we go. Everybody gets a free reload. Should have maybe just taken the crate to be entirely honest. I'm on it. Let's go for it. It's a bit putting us a bit out of position. Do it. But I assume we're going to be fine. Sights on lockdown. Diaz moves up. And just in case someone or something is coming from here, here, we're going to Overwatch. I did not expect that. Okay. 
Wow, four bursts at this? Michaela moves up. We will need her very soon on this side. Heavy reporting in. Dropping the weapon. Planting a grenade just in case. Here, nice little overwatch. Setting up a perimeter. Okay, just in case, because they might come from the other side as well. Let's plant a grenade here. Outside of uh, the actual detonation zone. Keep it watch. And it's Overwatch. Okay, just again in case one of those ticks starts to explode. Doing good, Jack. Jack's cloaked. Diaz takes the boom, uh, boom shot. <laughs> Very good. And I think we do have enough defense on the other side. The range is really disgustingly large. I think we're just going to end the turn. Diaz can kill the ticks next Here turn with the boom shot. shot. That's a not normal hammer burst drone, so we're going to be fine. So, Diaz, what are we going to do with you? First and foremost... Let's kill one of these guys. Last round. <laughs> Target down. It is disgusting. Only a 36% hit chance. We're going to take the 100% grenade hit chance. Don't want to take any chances with these guys. Alright, fantastic 80% uh, hit chance. Let's make sure... Uh, we can't even jack her up. Good. In that case, we're just going to use our up, aura Jack. and Jack's stay cloaked. invisible for now.
do we need the extra ability points? I, I would rather like to save our cooldowns if possible. 80% seems like a really good chance to hit. I was about to say that. And that's a one-shot kill right there. Going for some Guy nice little overwatch. Go ahead. No clue where exactly those guys should be coming Eyes from, open. but I think well. we got them very nicely pinned. On my way. I'm empty! Hostile down! Well, good enough for me. The boomstick is good, but I would have hoped they would cluster up a little bit more. Nice little hit, by the way. Oh yeah, we are keeping them back. The one thing that I learned is the game seems to not spawn additional enemies if you're already engaged. Reloading. Here. Time to hand over some extra Little ability points this turn. Those ticks have cornered us, believe it or not, and they're using cover intelligently. I am pleasantly surprised to see that the AI is actually moving quite well with them. They do have more movement, right? They do have more movement. One, two, yes! and... Let's hide. Later, Jack. Standing watching in this direction. Right. Okay. And I would guess we're fine. Let's better be safe than sorry and put ourselves in the 40% damage reduction zone. Scanning now. But yeah, we got some extra accuracy and some extra uh, damage. That seems to be uh, going quite well. Now, as for you. What? That's a miss. Damn it. Unfortunate. Down to my last round. It's a nice little critical hit. That would not be a kill on either of these guys. But it would be a really solid hit on him. It's not a 100% hit chance, but if we could kill him, we would gain an action point back and reload. Uh, nah. We got two ac uh, action points if we miss we would actually be screwed because we need to reload. So let's finish this guy out of ammo. Reload in one ability point. There we go. Got one. Continuing to hit him. And let's continue with ultimate uh, attack. That's a kill. All actions refilled. We're back to three actions. Reloading. 
That is a disgusting display of DPS. I I like the build. She's doing so well with it. And I think there's really not much more to add other than overwatching. Over Okay. I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going on the left hand side all right, at all. We're up. Let's go. Good. Michaela reloads and we're fine. I tell you what, she will move in and help on that side. In the meantime, Let's gain some extra AP. Let's do this again sometime. Alright, very love, well. Love it. I read you. The ticks are more difficult to hit than Affirmative. I would have thought. 20%. Hmm, no, that's not good. And we already got the to hit aura uh, running, right? Yes, we do. Target down. There are even more ticks, but also some front liners, I think. One way of dealing with them is actually with mines, but that's not going to help us now. Pistol has a reasonable chance of hitting them. One, two, yes. three. Let's do it. And that would be a one-shot kill. Well played. On my way. <laughs> Good. We're moving over here. Still get the coordinated assault bonus. enough to kill this guy it moves closer which is what we wanted I'm not sure if it is that beautiful, but we're doing all right. Got my eyes. Oh no, I misclicked in the last moment. That was unfortunate. Do we have what it takes to get there? No, we cannot. That is unfortunate. Yep, we're covered. Oh, 
I'm on Good, it. We're moving back in. So how many more supplies do we need? We're almost there, apparently. One, two. Appreciate it. Here. Let's see. That should be one shot kill. Yes. Okay, here we go. It says... Oh, hmm. well... Never mind. I should learn to read their nice hit one, points. Jack. Almost out! Thinning them out. Yeah, that was still okay, all things considered. You got him. Heavy begins to move up, and we're looking only at a 10% chance to hit, but that's okay, because what we really want to do... Is that a sniper? Wait a second. Oh no, we don't want to deal with a sniper drone. Well, can't really change much now. Kill zone established. If he moves, he's going to regret it. All right, one. Three reloading. And we're doing a nice low approach here. Yeah, I'm on it. Back into cover. And some overwatching. Let's hope the sniper is not going to do anything stupid. Well, it actually couldn't do anything at all. Thanks to our interruption. supplies that oh there we go mission completed fantastic and just on time ten percent evasion and optics I don't know what that is but it looks great and we're missing helmets so that is a fantastic piece of armor for us Very happy with how the mission turned out, and everybody got uh, some experience. And it seems even Jack got experience. So yes, it takes longer now to uh, to gain additional levels, but that was expected, wasn't it? Go back to the barracks, and they are now blocked, and so is our tank well they are still traveling can't really give them any additional equipment so we're going to wait with that but but on our next mission we do have a few options what kind of troops can we recruit by the way another heavy level four actually we have level four troops which would be great Sorry, mate. I do have a lot of... Uh, actually, not a lot of scouts. Two scouts. Well, let's get another Vanguard. And another Heavy. I like it. 
And whilst we're at it, level 2 heavy. I like you, buddy, but I think the level 4 heavy is more convincing. You know what? There's no need to kill or um, get rid of him now. And we got another sniper here in case we wanted one. And another scout. So let's see what our next team could look like. I mean, I would like to go in with a support. Level 3, that sounds good. Um, testing a, a different Vanguard would be nice. This heavy here is explosion skill focus, so I want to test that as well. And then we're uh, just having our normal scouts. So I think we already got the team ready, so no need to hire more people. I want to test in those off missions uh, how the other uh, skills are actually working. This guy here is, for instance, opportunistic uh, skill. That was the skill that we've uh, seen. So very interested to see how that works out. And here we got a breach. Um, here we got a breach build. So both of them are are showing different skills to what we do have. And that means we're going to see them in the next mission testing out different skill trees. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, uh, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below. This is the end of uh, today's mission, and we're seeing each other in two days for a new release of Gears Tactics. Bye-bye.